follow viewers. Well, people in this city often say how hard it is to get around in traffic and how congested it is and whatever. I don't know what all the fuss is about. I mean, I can get to the city in no time at all. See, how easy was that? Well, I'm just here in uh, Melbourne and through some stroke of a miracle I managed to find a central car park. I'm not too sure what I'm doing today, but I have two certainties. One, I'm going to top end discs to see if they've got any movies I want. And two, not one swear word is going to pass my lips today because I've decided I swear too much. So when I get home, I'll show you what I got. Now, if you come off uh, Flinders Street and come up this scary little alleyway into that big building up there, which is the uh, Sofitel Hotel, and inside is located Top End, so that's where we're going. If I don't get raped, mugged, and murdered in the meantime. Well, I really need to go to the toilet. That's Rod Laver Arena over there where the Aussie Open's held. Anyway, look, I've got back to the car. Just finished a top end disc, aka Dirt Cheap CDs. That's what their bags are still called anyway. And I've got a bunch in there of um, umbrella titles as you can see, and I'll show them to you now, I suppose. I don't think you can have enough copies of Dawn of the Dead, so I thought I'd pick that up, considering it's only $5. And it's a good release too. Um, umbrella generally don't shirk on their um, extras and stuff as you can see and I also got this Australian film called The Chain Reaction uh, this is one of only a few Aussie Umbrella titles I haven't picked up yet I'm really looking forward to seeing this I've never seen before Fantastic Planet and for $10 real bargain a couple of extras there um, apparently groundbreaking animation for the time um, I picked up Eugenie. I don't think I can show you the back of this one. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, $5, whatever. Decided to go for the umbrella release of Emmanuel in Bangkok. And finally, the umbrella release of Emmanuel around the world. So that's all I got today. And while I'm in the city, I might as well go to Polyester Books and see if there's anything there worth buying. I'll show you anything that I get shortly. Okay, I've just left Polyester and I picked up just two DVDs from there and I'll show you what I got. Uh, I picked up this documentary of Divine Trash, which I haven't seen yet. So I'm looking forward to that. And a bit of retro porn, the opening of Misty Beethoven, which is another one I haven't seen. I should point out that this film was directed by Radley Metzger who directed Hardcore under the name Henry Paris and if you're into this sort of thing, a bit of retro smut um, this film is right, you know, pretty much the cream of the crop when it comes to that sort of thing um, it also stars Jamie Gillis who was a very prolific porn actor in the 70s and 80s and probably starred in hundreds of adult films he also starred in this film which I'll show you called Water Power and considering that a few people have talked about disgusting films lately I thought I'd add one to the mix as well believe it or not you can actually buy this film from Amazon uh, directed by Gerard Damiano and is loosely based on a true story of a guy known as the Enema Bandit need I say more where he would go around anally raping women at gunpoint and forcing them to have enemas so what a great idea for a movie I mean what the hell it really is quite a disgusting movie, and if watching women ejecting muddy water from their behinds is your cup of tea, I'm sure this film will just be your wildest dreams. A uh, very disgusting movie, <laughs> distributed here by Channel 69 in Potts Point, which is actually a very exclusive suburb of Sydney nowadays. But yeah, what a power. Look, I really struggled to get through that, but if that's your cup of tea, God knows I wouldn't judge anyone, but yeah, quite a horrible film. While I'm here, I'll show you a couple of other adult films that I have in my collection.
Okay, I've got more than this, but I'm just going to whisk through some of the better films that were released on these particular labels. They look like bootlegs, but they're not. They're actually official releases, and I think these probably came out before 1984 when porn was officially legalised in this country anyway. Um, but they released heaps of different things, as you can see there. Um, but 8 to 4 is one of the better titles on the label. The Devil and Miss Jones is an absolute must-see if you're into this sort of thing. It's quite a dark film, actually, and um, is yeah, quite easy to get on DVD. Star Virgin is another good one. Fantasy, which got Hustler's highest rating. Anything with Hustler's highest rating is usually pretty good. And finally, China Desaad. Most of these are on DVD from VCX, and you can usually buy them from a website like, uh, I don't know, CD Adult Universe or something like that for a reasonably good price if you're looking for those particular ones. And on to something a little different. I picked this up at a second hand store for a grand total of two dollars, an old roadshow. The reason why I put this cassette out is, um, you know, these annoying security stickers which leave a hell of a mess if you tear them off. There is a way that you can actually get them off without making a mess and I'll show you. All it takes is a great deal of patience. See if you do it slowly, very very slowly, the sticky stuff will often snap off and doesn't get left behind and even if you get a little bit left behind it's easy to get off but yeah just a great deal of patience it's taken me about five minutes but there you go see it snaps off that's how you get those little nasty things off okay I'd like to close today's video showing you a few recent horror film acquisitions on VHS firstly this one called Bloodsuckers which I've never seen before not the film that is anyway picked up a really nice copy here of Extro in the original clamshell great British 80s horror movie or 4 EMI video and also an original clamshell here of Final Exam haven't seen this one since the 80s but these cases are quite flimsy so not a lot have survived which is why you know when you find them in the original case always good to pick them up and finally, one of my favourite trauma films, Igor and the Lunatics. Uh, wow, I got through that video without one swear word. Good work, hey? <laughs> uh, thanks for watching and always subscribing and commenting. It's great. Keeps us going. So, um, I'll see you in the next video.